hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from matt wash and it's titled single mom goes viral for crying on her birthday let's break this down you guys i'm super excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what matt wash has for us in this video okay i want to play this for you um in the opening we discussed a couple of videos featuring women crying on camera and uh this has become a whole genre on social media it's perhaps the most popular genre and while i did feel sympathy for the women in the videos that we opened with there's one more that went viral this week that that i, I kind of wanted to put in a separate category and talk about separately um and this is one that does not cause me to feel uh, very much sympathy or or any sympathy at all in the slightest, actually. This is a woman who says in the caption that she's a single mom and she has to bake her own birthday cake for herself because it's her birthday and, she, and no one is there to celebrate. And so she uh, has, to, has to bake it herself and she decided to film herself making her cake while crying. There's just something funny about the sight of a, somebody crying while making, a, making cupcakes. It's just there's something very... It's not very it's not very congruous. There's something odd about the, the site. Um, okay, first of all, and, and look, if you're gonna if you're just gonna make cupcakes from a prepackaged mix, <laughs> then you might as well go out and buy already made cupcakes exactly. at the store. Like if making cupcakes is a sorrowful activity for you, then just go buy them. If you're if you're so traumatized by throwing some mix into a bowl and an egg or whatever and stirring it then go buy some cake for mm -hmm. yourself or just don't have cake at all. It's not a must. You know, I went through uh, several birthdays when I lived alone and I didn't make myself a cake. <laughs> I didn't go out and buy one either. Um, hey, you're an adult. Like, what are you doing? You, you don't need to have a cake on your birthday. Making yourself a birthday cake. And also, by the way, I got news for you. hate to tell you this, but even if you were married, uh, lady... It, you're still making your own cake. I, if you want a cake, if you want a homemade cake, you're going to be making it yourself, even if you're married. So anyway, um, yeah, I, I just go buy, go buy your, go buy it if you want, and don't tell me that you can't afford to buy a homemade or a, a store bought cupcakes or a cake because we can all see your kitchen, and if you're a single mom with that kitchen. You're obviously in pretty good financial mm -hmm. state. I don't know what you're, how you're in that state. I don't know where you're getting your money, but um, you're getting it from somewhere and you're doing pretty well. But more to the point, I want you to think about the process that goes into a video like this. Think about the step-by-step -step process. Okay? If you're a fly on the wall, and there are no flies in that spotless, beautiful kitchen, but... If you were, what would you see? Well, first she cleans her kitchen so that it will look mm -hmm. nice on camera. Um, so it's all, it's all very premeditated. There's a premeditated... So well, i got to back it up. Because first the idea sparks. She has an idea where she wants a video of herself crying while making a cake. This is a content idea that she came up with. Is that... And she wants to do this on her birthday. Maybe she had, she's had this idea for months. She had this, she, she really, this would be a great video on my birthday. Me crying and making cupcakes. Is this is good content? So she comes up with the idea. Then she goes and cleans her kitchen. Sets up her phone on a tripod. Sets up all the baking supplies. Presses record. Conjures up the, the tears to cry on camera. Stops the video. Watches it back. Edits it. Puts sad music in the background and then posts it. And here I'm, I'm actually doing her a favor because I'm just going to assume that she didn't do multiple takes. I'm assuming that she didn't watch it back and like think that she wasn't crying visibly enough or, <laughs> you know, want another, want another crack at it and, and, then, and then do it again and again and again. Um, I'm assuming that. Probably not a safe assumption, by the way. In either case, this kind of behavior... I mean, it is truly sick. It, I, it, it really is. And yet it is very common. It is disturbingly common. This level of t 
totally performative sadness. This kind of emotionally manipulative behavior. It's all over social media. And the content works. They get what they want out of it. They get thousands and thousands of comments telling them. How what are you guys? What are your thoughts on this video? Every time I come across content like this, I know that these people are putting up a show. Because the time it will take you to set your camera and get the angles, anything that is supposed to make you cry would have just left you totally. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Like Matua said, this is all for content and she might have had the idea for such a long time and luckily for her, it blew up like she was expecting. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. I don't feel pity for people like this because this is not the first time that somebody is single and baking their own birthday cake. There's nothing bad about being single and there's nothing bad about celebrating your birthday. If she is truly a single mom, she can celebrate her birthday with her kids. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up, you guys. And the video I just played, okay, just guess. Guess how many views that video it's a woman making a, 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 a making cupcakes out of a mix and crying. Guess how many views it has on TikTok? Twenty six million. Twenty six million views for a woman making cupcakes out of a mix and crying. Um, and what does that mean? It means that she's going to post a whole lot more videos of herself mm -hmm. crying. We're going to get her. We're, this is a whole series now. This is a franchise. Uh, of, of, of content. We're going to get her crying while uh, doing the laundry. We're going to get her crying while making breakfast. We're going to get her crying while doing the dishes. Crying while feeding her cat. Crying while, uh, you know, vacuuming the carpet. Like, she probably doesn't have carpet. Beautiful house. She probably just has uh, uh, wood, wood floors. Crying while sweeping. Like, every, everything. She'll be crying while she's doing everything. This is how the incentive structure on the internet works now. People are incentivized to present themselves in the most pathetic, helpless, pitiable light mm -hmm. possible. And um, w whatever benefit, whatever benefit there could possibly be in putting a video out into the world of, of you in that kind of emotional state, and, and there really is no benefit. It's only downside. But if there was anything, like if there was any, if there was any like redeeming quality to this kind of content, it, it, well, the, the sad woman genre of video, if there was any redeeming quality to it, um, that is negated by the fact that it's not real, it's not authentic. You have these women performing their emotions for an audience. They're doing it so much and so often that after a while they lose the ability to actually have any authentic human emotions at all. I mean, these are like. Robots. Uh, it's like it's like turning into artificial intelligence. Because now, for this woman, anytime she actually does feel authentically sad or upset, she's going to think to herself, oh, this is great content. I can get 10 million views on this. And the moment that that thought pops into your head, the, mo the emotion isn't real anymore. You know, it's not real. Mm -hmm. Nothing is real. Everything is performance. Yeah. And, um, you know, and that, that's a real sort of danger for everybody on social media now that you no longer live any kind, like you don't have a real existence anymore. You barely exist as a real person. Everything is just so fake. Everything is, is harvested for content. It's so unbelievably unhealthy. It, it, like it's unhealthy in ways that we can't even understand right now it's it's like this is messing with people on a level that is truly unprecedented there's never been anything quite like this in, in the history of the world so we don't really what does this look like like what is this person 50 years from now what kind of person is this that that has, has lived this way for half a century um it's uh Quite pathetic. I mean, so so then so then in the end, like it actually is really sad. It actually, uh, you start by kind of laughing at how silly it is, but then you end up actually really sad yourself, but just not sad for the same reasons or for the reasons that are intended.
wow you guys that was such an interesting video from matwash and this is really really sad because the way content creation is going these days i don't know where it will eventually lead to because people do not have privacy anymore they don't know what should not be put out on the internet but rather they want to do everything for the views let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below if content creation has gotten to this point as at now i wonder where it will be in the next 10 years leave your thoughts in the comment section down below i really enjoyed every minute of this video because matwash has said nothing but the truth and i totally agree with him 100 and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys